Hello, everybody. It's Zalerla, Axeluvia, and Chris. Uh-huh. Hello. And we're doing the third episode of the Hugo games. And this one's very short. Hallelujah. Even, even though the first two were pretty short, this one uh, takes the crown on brevity. Well, yes. I suppose that's that's a bit early of me to say hallelujah, but I don't know. Considering the first two. Type Hugo. Here we go. Ooh. Hugo yeah. 3, Jungle of Doom. They actually have a lot better graphics in this, which isn't saying much. For the vacation, the Kudge of Great Uncle Horus from the second game. All right. If you remember that, which you probably don't because it was a horrible game. <laughs> now. Uh-oh. A freak magnetic storm. That's not how that works, but okay. Yeah, um, whatever. Right. Spin wildly. What's interesting Loses is you'll see a lot of stuff. They're going to land in South America. They're not in South America. <laughs> oh, it'll be very obvious that they're not in South America, and the guy really didn't want to do, say, Africa for some reason. Yeah, I have no idea. Well, maybe he, he thinks he's in South America because his compass was wrong. I would hope that that's, yeah. Well, if an explorer little, she continues. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. That sounds like a terrible idea. You're yeah. not wearing jungle exploration clothes. Okay. Don't wander too far, Lawrence Hugo. I'll inspect the airplane while you're gone. Well, they're completely uninjured. That's, that's <laughs> I good. I forgot to say, chicken chills that clash with the scenery. <laughs> As hers doesn't. Right. It's already covered in vines. Oh, am I Penelope in this one? No. Okay. Nothing exciting happening here. Lots of trees and things. Some pretty flowers. Cute spider's web. So just walk into it. I wonder how Hugo's doing fixing the plane. If I saw a spider's web that was bigger than me, I would stay the hell away from it. I would... Is she, has she been eaten? Help! Help! Here's the faint cries for help and rushes to the rescue. Oh, God, he phased in and out of existence real quick. Now that was it doing the zoom-in effect. Mmm. A young native girl who happened to be passing by rushes onto the scene. Saw the whole thing. Your friend has been bitten by a dreaded tree spider. I'm afraid there's only one antidote. Must be administered within 48 hours. Uh, okay, we all speak English. Yep, you have 48 hours to be able to complete this game. Have the antidote? No, the only thing that can save your friend is water from a place we call the Pool of Life. Secret garden behind the water following along yonder path. Tend to your friend while you spetch... Fetch the special... You spetch the special water. <laughs> oh, go <laughs> Yes, go spetch it now! Now... It's like, up to you, old buddy. Well, I'm not helping her. I'm exploring first. No sign of the spider. Obviously, Except the giant web. Obviously, it's stealing the plane. So, no, a, a bird came by and picked it up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't have any cat cookies. Surrounded by impenetrable jungle. The only exit is via a small path to the left. Looks like there's a big, huge clearing to the right, but hey, what do I know? Ah, okay, so that is getting closer. Yeah, it's away. it's just blinks when he gets smaller. Okay. Ah, aha. Knew there was crap in here. Hmm. Contents of the plane became a bit jumbled during the forced landing. Okay, they didn't crash. However, you can make out the cockpit seats and instruments, which still appear to be okay. Some clay, pins, a water flask, and bullion cubes. And a sandwich. Well, par for the course. There's some... No, well, it's not terribly random. Yeah, no. good right. Good luck with that. Clay, water, cubes, um... Sandwich. Sandwich. What was and the last pins. thing? pins. Ah. Pins. Pins. Yeah. Okay. I don't think you use most of this stuff. What do you mean you don't use most of the stuff? Do you? Use everything. I don't remember. Eh? Oh, eh? Hugo's Canadian now. Oh. Um. Okay. Get in plane and fly away. Huh. You'd need to get more fuel for that. Oh, that's true. Well, we can grind up Penelope. She's not using her body anymore. Huh. No, no, you gotta rescue her, because you're nice. Flight offer is refused. Well, thank you. 
Eh? Eh? Speak what? up! We down here in we're in South Africa. We speak Canadian English. Hey, this eh? is South, South America. America. Yeah. Jungle path, which gently slopes up to the left. Did that? Okay. Now, barring this often has crabby graphics and stuff, would you say that the person looked more African or more South American? I don't know. There are some pretty dark skinned people in South America. True. I meant like the outfit and stuff, though. But yeah. Mm. Looking down into the chasm, you can see a fast-running stream far below. There appears to be a path crossing the stream, but there's no way to get down the sides of the chasm from here. The bridge looks a bit dubious. Probably Safe. because it is. Um, what are my F1 help? Save. F4. F4. F5 is restore. Okay. And F6 is inventory. Just like in previous games, you I'm going to forget this. You can save over my test if you want. Pretty much immediately. Um, this okay. game does have dead man walking situations. Yeah, it's an old adventure game. That's pretty normal. Um, it doesn't let you cross until you make the bridge less dubious. Okay. Uh, wow, I was expecting it just to let him die. Yep. Hmm. Well, obviously we're going to fix it with a sandwich. There's no point. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> didn't say it wouldn't work. Yeah, it doesn't it said say there was it no doesn't point. work. Mine's a pretty sturdy. You know what you want to use the vines for. Um. Um. Well, don't try, it's, try it's not looking, using the word use. Okay. It, it's use. It's it's want a specific word here. There's no point. You, you want to tie them to the bridge. Ah. What? I don't know. Say? Maybe I'm hungry. I don't know. Huh? What? What did it say? I don't know. It flashed. That's what you... That's what I said. Okay. Well, maybe that's a dead man walking that'll kill me later. We'll find out. Ooh. Looks like I'll have to find another way back to Penelope. Top of the cliff, there are two paths heading down and a path heading up toward the bridge. An old scroll. What do you think of this lovely path? Can I fall off it like a King's Quest game? No. Well, then it's better than a King's Qu an old King's Quest path. <laughs> the only point of those was to annoy people. Here's to have some writing on it. Okay. Smart ass. Lost near the mighty boulder, my precious crystal ball. I guess I couldn't hold her, so I must have let her fall. If anyone should find it, please return it to my keep. Careful if you use it, its powers runneth deep. Signed the old Oh, it's you again. Do I get to punch him out in this one like I did? No. No, no you're, you're not, not Penelope. Penelope. No. <laughs> well at least she had that going for her. Yeah, I know. Base of the cliff path. Golden Bell. At least this game tells you what the things are. That's true. That is an upgrade. Pleasant tinkling ring. Find comforting. Ding dong, nothing happens. Well, that's normal. Woo. Ding dong, the bell does nothing. A fast running stream fed by waterfall to the right. The water is too fierce to cross anywhere. Other side, little path heading into the undergrowth. All right. Let's keep it going. What do we got? Oh, there's a ghost. Spooky ghost. The mouth of a cave. It's very gloomy inside. You can make out some steep Why stone is there a ghost? Upward. Evil spirit is guarding the entrance. Well, because they couldn't draw a troll, it had to be a ghost. I mean, that's... I'm going to walk past you. Can I enter the cave? Well, at least it won't kill me. Get out of my way. Oh, okay. Is there actually much of any way to die in this? Um, maybe. I'm, I'm throwing my bully on cubes at him didn't do anything. No. Oh, he just wants a sandwich. That totally works. Oh. He's a nice evil ghost. <laughs> He's a nice evil just ghost. Just imagine the ghost just checking its head, holding out a ghostly hand. No, no. thank you. 
No, no, I, I don't like sandwiches. That's not how I would draw an email. It is even it, like angry right eyeballs. She path turns back on itself. There's a boulder. Yep. There is a boulder. Let me spell. Right, find in these parts. They're. Did you say there was something near the boulder? Yep. Um, under the boulder. Here. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Mighty near. near the boulder. Okay. Look near it. Okay. Well, I can't see it on the ground. Maybe I just need to say take crystal ball. I don't see any here. Hmm. Okay. Try behind. Oh. Okay. Aha! Because Crystal ball. Yes, that's what you have to actually do to make it appear. Alright. You can actually look in the ball. I can look in the ball and it's probably going to kill me. Here's cloudy. It glows with an inner light. It's a picture. Image of yourself swinging on some vines over a river. Well, that's helpful. Yep, it actually sees the future and what you might be doing next. Oh, there's a village. It's probably where that girl lives. Witch doctor's hut lies to the right. Wild beast being roasted over a fire. The natives with the blowpipe. <clears throat> So this totally looks like South America. You you missed the uh, umbala speak. Yep. Ah. I love how that smoke doesn't move. Look, we're yep. a little community here. No, don't be frightened. We're not hunters or cannibals, you know. Well, how nice of you to know about your She's gonna keep offensive stereotypes. You for a while. Okay. Must warn you, so strong not to mention the witch. Venture to Witch Doctor's Hut's full moon tonight, and he tends to go rather crazy. Um, so where do Witch Doctors usually are at? Cooking supper, roast hyena. Uh, wait, no, this is Africa. Um, <laughs> yeah, the same thing yesterday the day before. Hyenas are not in South America, as far as I know. What was that you were saying? Oh, I was just like, Witch Doctors, where do they tend to be shown at? Yeah... A large cooking pot big enough to put someone in in a cage for imprisoning someone. Remember, we didn't have roast hyena. It gets really boring, you know. Something to do to make it more interesting. Oh my god, they're going to try to kill me, aren't they? No, they're nice natives. They're not cannibals. Or headhunters. Yeah. She's not done talking to you. That's why she's swung around. Not the first strangers, you know. Not at all. Yeah, you're going to kill me, aren't you? All the strangers are extremely friendly. Every one of them offers us a gift of some sort. All right. Ah. It keeps doing that. It keeps skipping the dialogue. Yeah. So, they, they basically are giving you a big hint that you need to give them something. Here, have a bell. And they mention that they're sick of roast hyena. Oh, um... Oh, here, have some cubes. Thank you. Huh. What the hell is this? Yeah, just just a blowpipe and some sleeping potion darts. And Warren's careful with these. Isn't a potion to put an elephant to sleep. Where are elephants from? <laughs> Not South America. Yeah, this is totally Africa. Is she still talking to me? No. Okay. No, she's, she's just, just gonna following follow. me. Because putting a little bullion on roast hyena totally changes the flavor like makes a huge it amount. Completely different. There's a witch doctor, a large cooking pot. Oh, that was in there. I'm smart. No, it's to the right. Wow, that didn't even do anything. Not even a message. Nope. Oh. Yep, so the witch doctor sets to the right when you go in there. Okay. It's one of those Hugo things that doing this thing gives you an extra screen that shouldn't technically be there. 
darts? Yeah, I got, got the blue the darts. darts. Oh. I saw... There's the spider. I told the witch doctor. Wouldn't even surprise me if it was the you. same graphic. I told the witch doctor I was in the Oh. What? Okay. Yep. Wow, the native that was talking to you just jumped. Oh. Typical Hugoism. Let's go in here. <clears throat> hee hee, gotcha! That's Great animation, man. I know. From this hour, you're in my power! See him by his cooking pot. Looks pretty grim for you. Also see. A little cage, a golden candle. What? I would totally want to shoot him with my blowpipe. So you'd be stuck in the cage while he's asleep? You stay put. Probably with this stick. What? Too bad, you missed. Um you still have more darts. You're not going to be able to do this. Oh, okay. So. Let's see what we got. Oh. Ring the bell. Ding dong. Nothing happens. Oh, well. Hmm. So how do you feed a witch? How would you defeat a witch doctor? Um. That's totally in South America. in the ball. Oh, same thing. How would I defeat a witch doctor? Um, I don't know. If this was an African witch doctor, what else do they do? Um, I think voodoo came from Africa, didn't they? No. Well, I mean, it's practiced more in um, the Caribbean. Right, but it was, that originally, I think, came from um, Africa, didn't they? Those beliefs. Well, I don't have a voodoo doll. You have clay. Oh, okay. Because that's totally how that works. As if guided by some unseen force. Right, because that's how, not how, you make... how would you know this? Something dark and sinister just happened. Yeah, one, how would you know to do this? And two, you don't have all the ingredients for making a voodoo doll. Well, it was some dark and unseen force. And he's just lying there still doing his two-frame animation. Writhing on the floor. Hey, All look, right. there's a rat. Loot. Nothing special about it. Well, I'm going to get the golden candle. Oh, God. Is this going to be a bell book and candle story? Yes. Okay. Wow, you got that figured out already. Bell Book and Kendall is a very heavily used trope. I know. Little cage. Oh. It's talking about this cage, not the one I was in. Yeah, okay. that's not a very little cage either, though. It's very useful right where it is for now. What else do I have? Oh, um... Catch the mouse. You want to go on the other side, so because the mouse. Oh, to not scare the work. mouse out over here. Got it. Well, it's along the lines of the mouse doesn't want to be where you are. Right. Come on. Out of the hole. There you are. <clears throat> Aha! Cheese sandwich cage slammed shut, trapping the mouse inside. Of course, it's a cheese sandwich. By the way, you've been playing for about. 20 minutes now? Look at what your score is. <laughs> 72 of 128? Yeah, wow, this game is short. You are two-thirds of the way through the game? Hey, fingers crossed this game doesn't have a snake that traps you on a path for like 20 minutes. <laughs> oh no. god, a snake. It's a mouse. Mouse won't let you. Okay. Well, take the cage. Oh, right. All right. 
I got a mouse. A mouse once bit my sister. Boiled Hugo. Ugh. I agree. That doesn't even let you kill yourself. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is probably the other path up the mountain. Oh no, there's an elephant. Oh, well. Yeah. I know what to use on that. No way there's an elephant. It's minding its own business. In South America. Yeah. I think I think it actually um And Ah, there we go. It took a while. Now what are you doing? Steel ivory. What the I don't know why I flipped out for a moment there. Oh, it's just a it's just a glitch. You're not at the circus. It's a I Hugo think, game. I think um it actually mentions that since this is South America and not Africa, this elephant came from a uh, ran away from a local circus. It's like, uh huh. Sure. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yes, I know there are no elephants in the Amazon. Just escaped from a zoo. Um, there are no you, hyenas in the Amazon. Yeah, either. you you said this in <laughs> Africa and then decided at the beginning screen that they were in South America. Yeah. Don't don't even. Resting, take content and takes no notice of you. Okay, I'll just walk past you then. Ooh. This river. It's disappeared. Small red fish. There are piranhas. Well, there aren't... I don't think there are piranhas in Africa. No. No, that's true. This is in South Africa. <laughs> I did it! Wasn't that exciting? Yeah. Cliff top on the left. All right, there's nothing on this screen. You're gonna South love this cliff top. Oh, it's the same. So there was no point in swinging across there. No. Except now it changes what you see in the crystal ball. Ah, that's right. You can see an enormous elephant stampeding through the jungle. Uh-oh. Did I anger the elephant, or is that something I'm going to make it do? Let's find out. Let's find out if dead man walking. Walk. Oh, right. I could try something on the evil spirit now. Am I dead man walking? Well, you have to go back to the elephant. Yeah. Ha. Let's try the evil spirit first. Um, you don't have the book. I don't have the book. Oh, I used the three to get past the spirit. I love how the programming in this is just put it behind the rock and make it Mm -hmm. Follow you. Exactly. Follow you exactly. It probably is going behind the foliage there too. I'm sure it is. Yeah. I said the ghost is related to the French maid. <laughs> in the second game, because she does the exact same thing. Maybe it's the ghost of the French maid. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, the elephant's asleep. Smack it. Wake elephant up. Hmm. Some pins. Some clay. Oh, the clay isn't a doll anymore. Oh, right. Elephants and mice. Um. But it's asleep. It's, I don't think it cares. Okay. Oh, the bell didn't wake it up. Poke it with a pin. That's why she thinks you might be uh, dead, dead man, man walking. walking because oh, okay. The elephant's asleep already. Well, then. We're going to load this one. And now, I don't need the crystal ball to tell me to make the elephant stampede because I'm even more psychic than it. Hmm. Yep. I have the power of saving and reloading. Here we go. Scare the elephant. Save before you do this. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, open the cage. Ah! Now Lovers you want to shoot the elephant. Isn't this a great animation? Now you want to shoot the elephant. Um, Oops, too late. Right through the stream. Totally damned with the elephant. 
Never to be seen again. Oh, okay. Now I'm dead man walking. Again. Again. Yep. Death it counter. Doesn't, doesn't kill you. It just gives you dead man walking. Yep. And delay is a little bit, just enough. To put it to sleep in the river. Yep. And now the waterfall might be unblocked. All right. Now we're going to save over elephant. Be free, mouse. Wow. So go poke the elephant. I poked it. Okay. Well, okay, go towards its foot. Okay. Is that not going to actually trigger? I don't know how you're supposed to figure that one out. I don't know either. Is that not going to trigger now? Oh, ah. there it goes. There's a book. Because that's how that works. Yeah, sure. I have no idea how the hell you would trigger that. Because it doesn't mention it anywhere. Various spells. What the heck? There's a spell book back there? Yeah, that old Alexander man is didn't leaving need it his... anymore. Yeah, that... <laughs> Oh, that, that spell book is just... That old dude is... Just dropping things left and yep. right. Okay, so... Yeah, <laughs> fall down the water. Nope, so now you can go back and cross the waterfall. All right, here we go. <laughs> eh? He doesn't know how. No idea. He also looks like he has a limp. Well, he does appear to walk across the screen at the same speed... As if he's closer, so just get really far away from the camera. I don't know. Yeah. Hello, ghost that's I phasing am an through evil the wall. Spirit. <laughs> Should Ooh. more do a sound like. He's a theremin. Oh, yeah. Waterfall base appears to have stopped running. All the banks of the stream are too muddy to be negotiated. Looks like you might be able to get across some stones at the base. Okay. It's telling me I can't walk in the stream bed. What the hell is... Oh, this is the pool. Yep, pool this of rejuvenating is the magic water. water we need. Um, wild orchids. Orchids are South American. Wow, it's just a water flask for getting water. What? What? Fill, fill flask, yeah. Right. Here we go. Okay. It's magic water. Limp, 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 limp. Okay, I've got a spell book that I haven't used. Oh, that's the book for spell book, right? Yep. Yep. Just in time, you can hear the thunder of water as the stream starts to flow again. Elements have awakened and moved off. Can't cross. Well, I'm not trying to. Um. All right. All right, evil spirit. Why was we doing anything? Spell book and candle. The spell that you haven't told me about from the page in the old book. Whoosh, an icy blast of air sweeps past as the evil spirit is banished for good. All right, this is probably the way back. This is so exciting. Are you excited for the end of the game? Oh, ugh. It's the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> oh, God, it's you. <laughs> yep. <sighs> we think they're a little hard on you last time we met, so I fancy the table should be turned this time. I know, let us play a guessing game, but this time you'll ask the questions and I will answer. If I answer correctly, you may pass. What a wonderful idea. He he. That's a really stupid idea, actually. Ah. <sighs> what did he say? I'm gonna have to load, aren't I? Yeah. Ah. I, don't, I don't remember Just what he said. Just say no. No. Just. There you go. No. I think I bugged the game out. Press enter. Did you break it? I think okay, you press, broke I think it. I broke it. Press enter and then go no. He is pressing enter. No, no, see. There we go. You can't get rid of R. Just do just, no just then. Just... There we go. Yes. Okay. Let's try loading. Nope. It just, won't let me load. Yes. <laughs> Say yes. There you go. Splendid, you win. What? He he did a guessing game. He told you what to ask, and he and was like, "Um, what are you carrying? 
Ah, I thought I'd never see my Chris. The old man whispers in your ear creepily like an old creeper. Okay, so it was I'll basically you ask the question and I will guess. Hey, how about you ask this question of oh, what God, are you Oh, God, he's carrying? winking. Yeah, so basically, what are you carrying? Is it a thing that's obviously not carrying? How did the carrying? get you there? I don't know. Is it a, an obvious thing you're not carrying? Is it an obvious thing you're not carrying? Is it a flask of magic water? Why do you just happen to be carrying it? You win. Okay, screw you. Bye. No, I'll give you the water. Minister the remedy. Revive sweet Penelope. Merrily back to the plane and fill it with gas from the spare tank and fly off homeward to the sunset. Go back to your village. You have some bullion cube enhanced hyena. It also must have been from the zoo. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, there are some hyenas from the zoo? Let's hope they make it home this time. Wow. The end! The Dumped end. to DOS! And I missed out on four points. Th it was the four points from crossing the water by swinging oh, the lines. Yeah. For some reason, I don't care about going <laughs> well, back to get them. Well, we can go back and play the game again. <laughs> It'll only yeah, take a few I, minutes. I, I'm going to go to my grave never having finished Hugo 3 completely. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. So, so what did you think of that game? Yeah, what did you think of Hugo 3? It was mercifully short. <laughs> and still managed to have a couple dead man walkings in it. Yeah, yeah. And you didn't die once. I didn't, and it didn't have weird, um, arbitrary, random arbitrary, random trivia. walk through the pixel flowers that don't eat you, and yeah, um, retarded bridge of death, and the snake that just follows you around, or the, oh, the horrible, horrible bats in the first one, or the TARDIS, or uh. the the strange dimensions of the street the TARDIS was on. Well, that was yes. Bruce's fault. I was gonna say. I'm sure. Yeah. Well, that was better than the first two Hugos. Yep, and that's the end the of the Hugo graphics were trilogy. better. Now, this is like one of those said, things that much. that was on the, you know, 1,000 games for 10 bucks CDs, like, all of the time. Mm. This was really easy to find if you had one of those mm. type this, of CDs. Okay, so this game took you 30 minutes. Look at this message. Type... Or print the hints file. It is for commercial software. It commercial should enter software. no circumstances be distributed to individuals or companies. Blah, blah, blah. This is a 30 minute game. Yeah. Jungle There's a of point Doom. where games are just a little too short. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can have short games, but they need to have, like, some substance for making up for their shortness. Well, and it's old enough, I think it's definitely abandonware by this point. Oh, oh it's yes. definitely abandonware by this point. It's just, there's so little to it. Well. Well, the, see, the original version of the Hugo Trilogy is commercial, because apparently you can get an unregistered version of it. For whatever <laughs> reason. What does it do? Stop you at the bridge? I have no idea. It almost stopped me at the bridge. It wouldn't let me tie the vines. Uh, anyways, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. That was so short.